She had a small device in her hand. On the back was a bitten silver apple. The wo- the woman shouted in- at the phone, I'm telling you, James turned changed into a dragon because of a candy. Believe me. Bill whispered loud- loudly and said, I told you a candy turned him in- into a dragon. Bill quietly shouted, Shh! What was that? The woman asked. What is it? The device said. I thought I heard something, that's all. The woman said. She slowly walked away while turning backwards every few seconds to make sure nothing was there. That was a close one, Jaden sighed happily. They swiftly rolled inside at the same time. They bent, and at the same time, they bent their backs as uh, as if it was bent forward like a witch. And they tried to stay stay as hidden as they could, as if they were very famous. And if anyone saw them, they would make a giant horde around them. After they made their way up the nar- the narrow carpeted stairway they glanced at one of the rooms that had a sign on the oak wood door that said do not enter of course they entered the large room with a queen sized bed in it james's hand opened the black painted nightstand's drawers and left a gre- greasy handprints on the metallic knobs as they unleashed their eyes to see a small candy their noses smelled the magnificent smell of the sweet candy after they left the small house the black painted drawer was hollow. At last, James and Mike were one hundred feet away from Joe's house. James and Mike thought that uh, thought that that they felt very tired. That they felt tired and weak, as if they ran on a hundred mile dash. They seemed to be closer at, to the ground, as if gravity was not on their side. James tried to blow fire out of his mouth, but all that came out was of his large tooth. T- mouth uh, a large sharp toothed mouth was a dash of smoke the blue skies started to cry i hate the rain james james said don't worry i will teleport us to joe's house mike said mike clenched onto james's red scaly hand they disappeared into thin air only to find themselves a foot away from where they were five seconds ago that was weird that was weird what do you think happened james questioned i have no idea mike replied once once again, they got even closer to to the cement. Both of them were only standing five feet tall. Do you think our powers are wearing off? James questioned, sounding like he was the most worried person in the world. Maybe so. I mean, something seems to be happening, Mike said. A minute later, they reached Joe's big brick house. They tapped the small marble button, and at the same time, they started to hear a cl- calming ring. They waited for about 20 seconds, but there was no one to answer. Man, James shouted under his breath. Let's go home, James mumbled. At the same time, James and Mike reached their home. James went up to the stairs as he didn't need to crouch his back to get through the stairway. James looked at the wall's clock as he after he entered his room. He realized that it was only 5 p.m. after all... All he wanted to do was to go to sleep. He thought about what happened today after he cannonballed on his bed. Come on, me. Don't worry. We still have our powers, James thought. He started to imagine how awesome he could have been if he was always a dragon. Before he knew it, it was sundown. He stood up and went to his nightstand and glanced at the drawer's metallic knobs, and there was something that didn't seem right. He noticed that there were handprints on the knobs. James touched the knobs only when he had a glove or towel on his hand. James was a couple was a complete neat freak. He opened the drawer after he went downstairs and got gloves on. Ah! He screamed at the top of his lungs. Where is the tra- what? Are- where is the candy? James rushed downstairs at the speed of light as he thought, This is impossible. Where is my candy? He shouted at his mom as he stomped on the floor like a marcher. I don't know. Don't talk to me like that. I am your mother. You should know better, his mom complained. Then what happened to it? James said as he lifted up his shoulders. Calm down and then we'll talk, she said as he put her as she put her hands to her hips. Fine, just let me find it, he mumbled as he slouched his back. Okay, where did you last put it? His mom asked as she opened her wide her eyes widely. In my nightstand drawer, I'm sure of it, he replied. Okay, did you learn anything new about the candy? She asked as she 
as she was revealed that James called him down. Yes, yeah, Mike and I found out. He passionately uh, replied as he put his right hand on his hip. Can you tell me, she asked. And so James told his mom the theory that Mike and... Uh, James thought of, okay, well, do you know anyone who dressed up as a detec detective? She asked, yes, Mr. Jackson, my teacher, James exclaimed. Let's go. He can figure out what happened to it. You can go tomorrow, not today. You need to get some rest. It has been a long day for you. I'm very proud of you. Don't tell, don't yell at me anymore, though. James James's mom said she hugged him and kissed him on the, his cheeks scales. James then started to cr uh, have water rushing at, from away from his shining at, from his shiny shiny red eyes. Why are you crying? She asked. Well, you and Dad used to be very mean to me, but now you are being nice to me a lot. Thank you, he said as his uh, as his eyes became to uh, became as red as a lobster. No problem. I know that I have not been the best mom for you. I'm very sorry. Do you believe me? She asked as her eyes started to burn like a stove. Yes, I believe you. By the way, where is Dad? James asked as he patted his as as uh, he patted his mom gently on the back. He's going to be away on a uh, on a business trip today and tomorrow. She a answered. Good. Okay, good night, he happily replied. Good night, she said as uh, he, she hugged his scaly surface. James woke up the next day earlier, early in the morning after he slept through the night, wondering if he would ever get the candy back. He went to his bathroom as he remembered that he didn't brush his teeth yesterday. And since he believes that you should brush your teeth 14 times a day, Seven times in the morning and seven times at night, he brushed his white teeth, white teeth, 32 times. He went downstairs and, wa and his mom both ate the waffles, their favorite. After they finished gobbling, uh, gobbling up the warm waffles, James went to the bathroom and washed his hands for um, five minutes. He then spoke to his mom, and they agreed that he would go to Mr. Jackson's house in 20 minutes. They went onto his website and got his ad address, which was only a few miles away. They, they then left to go to his house. Once they arrived, they pressed the big red button on the brick wall as they heard a soft ding. Very quickly, the door opened, and, and a man with a plaid suit and pla plaid tan suit and hat came out. He had a magnifying glass dangling from his pants. He didn't move a muscle as he stared at James. Don't worry, it's me, James. You are my homeroom teacher at school, and your name is Mr. Jackson. Please don't freak out and believe me, M James said as he reached his hand out to shake Mr. Jackson's hand. Uh, uh, okay, Mr. Jackson replied with his sweaty hands. Uh, James interrupted the silence. Let me explain everything. James told him everything. Have you scanned the fingerprints embedded on the drawer's knob? Mr. Jackson uh, questioned as he scratched his scruffy beard. How do you know that I would be able to... Ha how do you think I would be able to get d the technology to do that? James remarked. I have a classic set in my basement. I bet those could crack the code. Mr. Jackson replied as he pointed down to his basement. That is epic. Let's go. Let's get started on uh, on finally b uh, finding the. That is epic. Let's get started on finally finding the bandit. James exclaimed. The car pulled to the 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 car pulled to the curb, reaching their destination. They exited the blue minivan. Uh, they exited the blue minivan as Mr. Jackson carried the dusty, the dusted machinery to James's. James was so happy that he was jumping like a rabbit across the house. Mr. Jackson plugged the cord into the outlet out, uh, as the machine brightened up with electricity. Mr. Jackson then said, Scan the light, scan the uh, light, scan the metal knob as the device followed his commands as if it were as if it was a trained dog. 
Green lights flashed on the knob as the device replied and said, Scan successful. Identity, Jaden Paul. James's tempter, temper started to get outrageous. His breath got harder and harder by the second. He did it, James said in a booming voice. Calm down, James, Mr. Jackson said calmly. But he got into, uh, but he got into our house and stole it like the little thief he is. James said in a tempered voice, Don't worry, I will handle it. Calm down. Take a deep breath in and out, his mom replied. She sounded like a yoga trainer. James obeyed the command, uh, and smoke rose from his nose. Can we just get this ca- Can we just rest this case already? Yes, yes we can, Mr. Jackson replied. In an instant, they drove to Jaden's large house. Without any hesitation, James calmly opened the birchwood door to reveal Jaden staring at the mysterious sugary treat. What are you doing in my house? Jaden shouted. Give us back the candy and no harm will be done, done, James warned sarcastically. What makes you think I will give it back? Jaden questioned as James began to release a red blare out of his mouth. Okay, okay, take it. Jaden reply, re, replies, replied reluctantly. Thank you for your time, James said as he gave him a death glare. James wandered around the neighborhood until he reached a river that looked infinite. He glanced at the shimmering water. So, my work is done. I got the candy back. My mom is nice to me. Everything is good. Do I need to be a dragon to be special? I don't want anyone to be scared of me. I mean, Mom was scared of me, Jaden was scared of me, and Mr. Jackson was scared of me. I need to be who I was meant to be, meaning that I am special just the way I am. His eyes flooded His eyes flooded with salty tears. This is the right thing to do. James slowly picked at his prized possession and gave it one last glance and quickly tossed it into the tree into the ever-flowing river. Suddenly, purple spirals spinned around and around. His pawn turned into his clean feet. His sm- snout diminished into his into a pointed nose. This is me.